Put your left hand on the yellow. Step forward. Put your right hand on my left hand. Put it small on your back. It's your break hand. What hand? What hand? Right hand. Break hand. Break hand. Put after me. One down. One down. One round. One round. Lock the gate. Lock the gate. The gate is locked. Gate is locked. Lock. Lock. Shoot your arm out three o'clock. Look over your right shoulder. Double time backwards. Go. What is going on guys, it's your boy Motivated Devil and I'm back with another awesome episode of Marine Corps Stories. I think you guys are going to enjoy this one. I'm going to change it up a bit. I want to talk about the Repel Tower today and it's week 6 in boot camp. But I'm going to change it up. Usually I'm just, you know, very detailed with what I'm talking about and I just, you know, leave it at that. But I got a funny story to add on to this one so hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, it's actually pretty good. Somebody wanted me last week, someone commented, was like, talk about masturbating in boot camp. I'm like, ah... Yeah, you got the wrong channel there, buddy. But I, you know, yes, it does happen. I'm not going to sit here and make a whole commentary about it. But yes, it does happen. Yes, I did catch somebody trying to pull one off, you know, in the bathroom, in the head, whatever, one night when I was on the Firewatch. But I'm not going to sit here and make a whole commentary about me catching someone, you know, trying to pull one out. But anyways, guys, that just got awkward. So we're going to jump right into this. Now, what I want to talk about today is the Repel Tower. Now, the Repel Tower, is, you know, it was really hard for a lot of people. I've seen a lot of people freak out. Just because of the fact that they were really scared of heights and me personally i was never scared of heights and that was mainly because when i was a kid my mom used to take me and my best friend which is happens to also be a marine now funny and ironic of that but she used to take us down to the lake it's this lake in georgia you may have heard of it if you're you know surrounded by georgia it's called lake altoona it's a really old and really huge ass lake uh, there's actually been a hundred pound catfish caught in this lake you know nine pound bass is like you know nothing strange so this lake's really, really big, and there's like this train trestle, it's like 75 feet, you know, over the water. And when I was like anywhere from like 14 to 18 years old, that was what me and my buddy would do. We'd get off work, or get off school, my bad, get off school, and you know, if we had a vehicle, and if we didn't, we'd get my mom to take us, and we'd go down there, and we would do that shit all damn day, and just jump off that bridge into the water, and just go around. But anyways, so, you know, scared of heights for me was nothing at all but for some other people it was so this so here comes the funny story so you know we're standing in line getting ready to go to the rappel tower and everything and this kid fucking pisses his pants literally pisses his pants and the drill instructor is like well you know he can't he can't go down the rappel tower with piss covered pants so his battle buddy had to switch pants with him while he went up so his battle buddy had to wear his piss covered pants pants that were not his well, not his piss and he had to wear that for like you know at least a good 20 minutes for the kid to go all the way up and come all the way back down i thought that was funny i don't i don't know if i would have been able to do that i mean obviously i would have been able i would have had to have done it because the drill instructors made him do it but all oh, that had to suck so bad but anyways guys so what the what the rappel tower is it's week six and it's a 50 foot tall tower and the only thing that you got you know holding you is a six foot rope or it's also called 550 cord and it's wrapped around you in a Swiss seat kind of knot. And they teach you at the beginning, you know, you get a good hour training of how to tie this up so they don't just throw a rope at you and go, here, jump down off this 50-foot tower. No, you don't do that. You actually repel down it twice. The first time, you know, you do the walking down the side, the side with the USMC, you've seen it at the very beginning of the video. And yes, people have fallen. I'll try to put a video up of that up in the top right. But yes, people have fallen, but it's okay. There's pretty much no way you can hit the ground as soon as you start to fall. You know, the instructor at the bottom, the spotter, he pulls the rope tight. And after he pulls the rope tight, there's no way that you could hit the ground. And then the second rappel is with nothing to walk down, simulating like, you know, you're jumping out of a helicopter. And when you jump out of a helicopter in the Marines, in the Marines, we call it the hell hole. You know, the hole you come out of the helicopter. That's called the hell hole. Quick little fun fact for you guys that didn't know that or was just interested. The reason I know that is because my best friend, who's also in the Marines, he's a CH-46 mechanic, which I know you guys don't know what that is, but if you ever played Call of Duty 4 or Black Ops 1, I believe it's the, the care package for Black Ops 1, it's the banana-shaped looking helicopter, real weird looking, it's got two blades, uh, front and back. They actually don't even use that helicopter anymore, they've got a new one, and my buddy's kind of pissed off because that's his MOS, and he's non-promotable right now, so I don't think he's going to re-sign 
But anyways, enough of that. But sometimes I get messages in my YouTube inbox and people are like, well, Devil, what if I'm going to be a Pogue? And if you don't know what a Pogue is, it's a person other than Grunt. And, you know, sometimes it's used as a derogatory term, you know, but a lot of times it's just, you know, describing somebody. And if you're not an 03, if you're not in the 03 field, you're considered a Pogue. I was considered a Pogue, even though, you know, my MOS is about as close to a non-Pogue or whatever, a Grunt as you can get since, you know, field radio operators, you know, they run with the Grunts, they do everything with the Grunts. But... You know, like, what if I, what if I'm gonna be admin? What if I'm gonna be sitting behind a desk? You know, it doesn't matter. That was a stupid death right there. And check that out, another stupid death. But it doesn't matter. Every Marine is a trained rifleman. At any time, you know, if shit was to just break loose and all hell, you know, any Marine can be called to battle at any time. It doesn't matter if you're a desk jockey or whatever. Every Marine's a rifleman. Every Marine goes through the exact same training through boot camp. And whether you go to MC MCT or SOI, uh, yeah, SOI is more for the grunts. MCT is for people that have different kind of jobs. Like, I had a different kind of job. I wasn't a grunt. But, you know, Pogue isn't a bad word. So they asked me, you know, what if I, you know, do I have to do all this stuff too? Yes, you have to do everything. You're going to have to do the repel tower. It doesn't matter. Every Marine is trained. Of course, you got your other, you know, Marine Corps snipers and your recon Marines, which obviously have more training than, you know, your regular trained Marine from boot camp. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smack the shit out of that like button. Hell, add it to your favorites if you want to. And if you got any suggestions for next week, leave them in the comments. And let me know. Are you scared of heights? It's your boy, Motivated Devil. Sipper Fidelis, out.